everybody was good. It's Jax. I'm back. And welcome to the Jaxology Network. Now, I've been sewing a lot of masks lately because, you know, a girl has to have a mask to fit every outfit and every color scheme when she's going out even though she ain't going out nowhere because she's on quarantine. But I have dived into my sewing machine once again. But while we're sewing, we need an iron to press out seams, to make fabric lay the right way. And I was using my Black & Decker, my big, you know, industrial, semi-professional steam iron. And it was a hassle. So I'm walking through the Walmart, right? And what did I spy? I spied a little iron. This is a steam fast iron. It costs $12.88 at Walmart. Now, I don't know why Walmart always puts eights on the end of their numbers. Like, you know, instead of $12.99, it was $12.88. But that's okay because you're saving me some pennies. I'll take them. Um, this particular iron uses water. It has steam. It has different settings and a nice long accord. Okay. So, pros. It's small. It fits right in my small hands. Yes, I have small hands. It fits right in my hands. Um, and working on masks, it the masks are small. So it gets right into those seam allowances that I need to press out and everything. If I were working on clothes, I'd probably use my bigger iron. But for what I'm doing, little projects, this is perfect. Now, I know they have... Some of these irons, one is made by Cricut. Uh, I saw another one in the store the other day. The head of it was about that big and it cost $40. I'm like, wait, wait, I can get a big iron for half that price. It'll work just as well. So this was a steel. You can put water in it for steam. This is the steam button. And as you're ironing, it gives great steam. The cord, like I said, is long enough and it gets nice and hot and it has several different settings hot hot for like those cotton fabrics that are hard to iron and then you know not so hot for maybe some of those more delicate fabrics such as silk and things now let me break down the cons for you first con is this dial all right it does have different settings but i can't see them without some readers i'm not trying to see them second con is when I first got it, I'm trying to turn the dial like this and it doesn't really work. So I have figured out that it's best to position your hand like this and turn it. And it turns easy when it's like that. But if the iron is hot and you need to adjust it, it gets a little bit harder to hold it that way. So when it's, you know, sitting down like this, it, it's just... I don't know. The dial, I think, probably could have been placed here or maybe here. So I don't know. But the dial is my least favorite. It does have a little indicator here to let you know. Hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Because I got outlets right by me. <laughs> Wait. It has an indicator to let you know when it's on. It's on right now. It's getting hot in my hands. So I got to unplug it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and the other con that I really hate, and it comes with a little cup that you can, you know, measure your water and you put it, it has um, a little rubber stopper here with a hole in it. And you just open that up and you pour your water in there. It also has a max line to where you fill it. But what I found is when I'm ironing with steam, this little hole likes to spit at me. Well, not at me. It spits on my fabric. And even though it's just plain water, in fact, I don't use tap water. I use distilled water in here. So my water tends to be very high acidity, I believe, like seven point something. I always use distilled water in like ironing machines, uh, steamers and stuff like that. So it doesn't get scaly buildup. Anyway, this thing likes to spit at you. So I did find a solution. I took a little bit of paint, little bit, slow down. <sighs> I took a little bit of painter's tape and just place it right over the hole. So when I'm ironing, it won't spit at me. And when I hit the steam, it won't spit at me. I have not noticed any water coming out of the bottom. 
Some irons, when you use the steam function, you will get water dripping out of the bottom. That hasn't happened. And it does stand on its own when it's on something flat. My hand is not very flat, but it does stand on its own. So overall, oh, and one more thing, I'll show you the pro that I like. If you look around here, this piece is not solid to the base, which makes it really nice because it gives the iron itself a nice thin edge. And when you're opening up seams or you have to, you know, fold um, iron within something, that little lip right there makes it nice. It, it, it works really well. So that's the pros and cons. So am I going to play this or am I going to slay this? I'm playing this. I'm playing it all day. Okay, this, look. I'll take this and use it to iron my clothes because it's just small and it's easy to handle. I hate to iron as it is. And those big bulky irons don't make it any easier. I wouldn't iron all my clothes with this. But if you just want to bump out some quick wrinkles, dum 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 dum. If you're a seamstress, a, a, a hobby sewer or whatever, this will come in handy. And it will save you money over the Cricut brand and that other outrageously priced $40 small head iron that I saw in the store the other day. So um, if you're looking for a small one, the Steam Fast is a good one. That's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook under the same name, Jaxology. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? And don't forget, subscribe the channel. Check out some of my other reviews. And check out my show, All Jaxed Up, where I just bring you the funny, okay? I hope I see you here again. But until next time, y'all be good. So, I'm sorry, I just got a battery notice. <laughs> Here's the name, but it's backwards. This little gem, well, let me not call it a gem yet, because I and those, maybe this might work on my face. I got some.